Hi coin friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I want to share my coin plans for the next quarter, so for the next three months, July, um, August and September. So I have three stacks to the side, uh, quite next to me, um, that I want to go through with you. And um, from our last uh, plants video, I managed to tackle maybe half of the books, but I won't repeat them mainly or basically i do have some books that i have some whips in so i took that i took those over now but most of the books that i sh will show today are new so that we don't have too many repeats because basically you know i really want to um tackle my collection now the longest time i really wanted to um you know focus on a smaller selection of books so that i get the feeling of that i have worked in some books that i have something to flip through uh, but i managed that um i'm quite happy with that and now i really want to tackle the whole collection and add a little bit of uh yeah coloring to each book basically and um yeah so um these are some beautiful new books that I got this year. I love them, but let's get started now. First, I want to get this book out of the way. This is Enchanted Faces by Hannah Lynn. This is one of my 10 books, and this is one of the books that I have over the half of the pages are finished. And um, so I want to continue and call at least one more page from this book. And it would be this uh, whip here, which is quite summary. I also have another whip, this one which I also just would love to finish and just continue to color in this book here. So then let's continue with this gorgeous book here. This is new. I don't know if I have shown it to you because I show you the um, new purchases in my um, coloring updates and I think I haven't um, uploaded the coloring update in which I showed you this book here basically, but yeah, we always have a colored version here next to the side and then the image to color for ourselves. And I have a whip in here and I will give you a um, quick sneaky peeky. So it's this one here, uh, which I want to finish obviously. And yeah, it's almost done. So definitely want to, con to finish the whip in here. This is Garden Lady by Lana Green Art. And yeah, definitely want to do that. Then I have Wildflower Folk by Christine Karen, published with Blue Angel Publishing, I think it is. Yeah, Blue Angel. And um, yeah, I couldn't get it for the longest time. And um, either it was this year or maybe it was last year, I can't remember. But um, yeah, finally I was able to grab it. And this is the page that I decided that I really would love to color. It's one of the new and exclusive images to this book. And um, yeah, I have a color scheme for this in mind and absolutely would adore to do this. I also have a starter page in here, but I think I won't continue this um, in the next quarter. It has to wait a little bit longer. You know, I love to practice a whip lifestyle. <laughs> yeah, so then now we will have a look at my square books. And this is Roman Wanga by Tomislav Tomic. And um, he is one of my list of shame artists, but I was very inspired to finally get started with this book here, with this absolutely amazing, stunning book. And I thought that I wanted to do this page over here, basically. And I was so inspired by um, Olivia Odorant. She has a Patreon. And um, yeah. I'm one of her patrons because I just love her color alongs, even though I don't follow them. And no, she don't has, uh, she doesn't has a color along from this book here, not at all. But you know, since I don't follow color alongs, I still can learn something, her techniques. And I was just so inspired, maybe to try something out, and this page here would be just perfect for that. So that's the reason why I chose this image or was inspired to call in here. And this is basically the other option from this book that I also would love to color. I thought, you know, I just love to color portraits, but with side portraits, I have to admit that I struggle a little bit. I find those a little bit um, more difficult, but it has a little bit more open space here for the background, which would make it a little bit quicker to color, maybe. So this was Drummond Wonga, but I would love to free this one from my list of shame. 
Then, of course, I have Mouse Guard by David Peterson. This is a book that I absolutely uh, love to work in. Um, for example, I would love to color this one here. Actually, I would love to color all the snake images. I don't know why they are so attractive to me, but whoops, sorry. I also have some whips here, so let's have a look at both of them. Um, and I would love to just finish one of those whips at the moment. I think I would love to finish this one here. Um, but also it would be good to finish this one. I had filmed this one, wanted to have it as a color along and then never finished it. And the footage is gone, so <laughs> it's not going to come. And it was, it was so dark, so I thought it wouldn't be yeah, too nice. Even though I think the good stuff is still to come. When I color all the mouse and maybe the sunset and the light effects catch or uh, yeah catching or uh, falling onto the stone and so but yeah <laughs> it is what it is but this book is absolutely stunning it has so many pages that i would love to color so yeah for example this double spread is also one that i would love to do but i think it would take me yeah forever and i haven't finished speaking of double spreads I haven't finished my double spread from, from Miss Mafia by Kirby Rosanas and yeah, this one. And this is the one that I definitely want to continue and try to finish in the third quarter now. It would be a pity if I would just um, let this alone and um, not continue to work on it. Um, yeah, so this one definitely I want to do. And then I also have an I also have a whip in Mythographic Aviary by Joseph Catamang. And it is this one here. And yeah, I just would love to finally finish this one. I love the way that this one is coming out actually. This is the page that I had colored in the second quarter. And I love the outcome. So very happy with this one and yeah, definitely want to add another page to this book here and finish my whip. And then I also have Mythographic Fairy Wonderland by Fabiana Atanasio. And in this book, I also have a started page. Ah, there it was. Yeah. And of course, I would just love to continue this one and finish this one. This one will be a lot of pencil work because I'm mainly working on this one with pencils. I might do maybe the background with ink tens or so, but there is not a whole lot of background, as you can see. So, yeah, but this one would be nice to finish this one. I absolutely adore this book here. It contains so many pages that I love. I could give you a quick little flip. There are so many stunning pages in here. Yeah, I would love to start another one, but I decided I want to finish one first before... You know, I just have a book with many started pages. So what do we have next? So next I will show you a little collection of Christian Karen books with whips in it. So I want to finish some Christian Karen whips. I have one in Fairy and Fantasy 5. Um, where it is? It's here. So this is my uh, first started page in this book. And I got this book uh, way at the end of last year and then started this page. And um, yeah, I just really want to finish this one so that I have my first completed page in this beautiful book here. Um, can I put it to the side? Yeah. Then I have a whip in Fairy and Fantasy 4 from last year. It has this really bad buckling here. This one as well so you know when you use water mediums in amazon books you will get some buckling some warping and so on but um, nevertheless i like my idea for this um, picture here and really would yeah love to finish this one just so that i can add another page to this book here um, this was my first um, completed page from this book and i have a color along for this one which i will link up in the corner just in case um, you want to follow it so, this is Fairy and Fantasy 4. And then I also have a whip in Character, character Through Worlds and Times. And it's um, this page here. I started this page years ago. I have continued it this year. And um, 
yeah, I really would like to finish this one. It would be just my second page in this book. You know, I concentrate so much on my uh, book to finish that I neglected her other books a little bit. And I want to change this. I want to work on my collections a little bit this year. So now let me show you some very summery books that I would love to color in. And I have chosen Easy Summer by Joshua Dunbar. I have not colored in this book yet. I love his easy books, so I really enjoy to work in them. I have marked some pages that I would like to go for. This was the title page, which I think looks... Uh, I really love his illustrations here, his layout and everything, his line art. I just love his art, you know. Then I chose this page here, which I think is also very, very nice. Yeah, I would love to do this one. And then I chose this one with the um, with the strawberries and those little mice. I thought this is so cute. I could do a nice kind of like a bouquet background. You know, I'm not good, very good with bouquets. But yeah, definitely I want to practice um, strawberries this year. I want to work out a alcohol marker way to color them and then go over a little bit with pencils and acrylic markers and see what I can do with it. Um, but yeah, I really would love to um, practice this, this this year and yeah, I think therefore it might be this page that I will go for most probably now that I think about it. <laughs> so this was Easy Summer by Joshua Dunbar and you will notice that I have some more from Joshua in this stack because you know, I just love his art. So then I have Under the Sea Were Mermaids Be by Destiny Lauritsen. And she's another of my favorite artists. And um, actually, I haven't decided yet uh, which page I want to color. Um, but I just decided um, that I really need to get started in this book here. Because, you know, I mainly worked in her other book which is one of my 10 books to finish. And I have some whips in there, which I would love to uh, finish too. But, you know, I wanted to work a little bit more on my collections this year and add pages to books that I have not colored yet. And so it would be just so much fun to start this, ba uh, to start this book here. And I find it very summery. So then I have Country Summer by Jade Summer, but it's illustrated by Joshua Dunbar and Alexandra Franzis. And now I need to look for the page that I'm interested in coloring. Um, I have a specific one that I would love to color. So let me look for it. Here. This one with the owl. Yeah, I absolutely adore this page here and yeah, I would love, you know, to work here on the background with the ink tents again. I did this, I did this before and it was a lot of fun, turned out beautifully. And then work on the details like poppies, the fence here, I love to color wood, you know. And then, yeah, really tackle this owl here. And this is so beautiful. I just love this page. So I would love to get started. This is more a little bit... This is actually a little bit more detailed, but you know, I decided this year I uh, I will call a detailed pages or start them um, because usually I try to do simplified ones so that I can finish the pages more quickly for YouTube, but no, not this year. So now we have Gnomes by Jade Summer, but the illustrator was also Joshua Dunbar and um, yeah. So, it is this very detailed page here that I am eyeing and um, yeah, I really would love to get started with this one, even though this one is most probably the most detailed page in the whole book, but I don't care. I just love this image and it would be so, uh, so beautiful if I could finish this one. I think it would look lovely. So yeah, this one definitely. Next, I basically have a little ISO or section because, you know, the stack is a little bit big. You know, I'm average uh, will be like four to five pages a month. And I know this stack is much 
yeah, bigger. So I have a little either or section now. So, and the first one is from Morgan O'Brien, Matchstick Mouse, and it's either the summer book or the new one, A Rainy Day Calling Book. I don't know if you have seen this uh, book here already. It is quite new and it's so stinking cute, really. Love this one. I absolutely love this one. This is one of his older ones and um, the line work is much thicker in this older uh, book here. And it has more really simplified pages like this one, which could be done fairly quick, fairly quick, really. So, you know, I haven't decided which page I will um, color yet, but... And maybe, since these are actually rather small pages, I might even work in bows. But here you can see that the line work is much thinner and yeah, thinner, smaller, um, not so bold, basically, and that the images are just a lot more detailed. So, so this is the main difference. So I think that I would just um, invest a lot more time in this book here. I mean, here's a simplified one, but most of them, or many of them, have actually, I think at least, a little bit more detail compared to his older work, which I like. I love the images. His ideas are just so stinking cute, really. You must, for example, this one. I mean, look at that. <laughs> he is um, pulling on this carrot here and they are all helping a little bug and here worm. It's so cute, really. So absolutely adore this book here. And yeah, so. Yeah, maybe I will work in both of them, but we will see. So then I have <clears throat> I have Daria Sakirsoy. You know, Daria is one of my favorite artists, especially when I'm kind of in a calling slump to get me out there. She has this very cute style, um, which I just love, and I you know, this is one of my 10 books to finish and I would just I would just love to add another page. And I decided that I would love to do this one. But this book is quite new and also contains a page that I would love to do. So, and it's this one. So it will be either this or this. I think that these are quite similar from, you know, yeah, the overall look. It's... The um, size of the face is quite similar and um, yeah, so one of these it must be. This one has a little bit less background if you so will because it has a border. This is the new book and yeah, I would just love to do this one but I also would love to f uh, yeah add one to this book here. So we will see. One of these ones I think it will be. So this was Daria. And then I have Chris Ortega, A Colorless Kingdom. And in the last quarter, I have colored a page from volume two. And in this quarter, I thought, you know, just working on my collection, I want to add one to volume one or volume three. And I have also picked a page that I would love to color. Yeah. Either this or here's also one that is quite similar to this one. Yeah. So. so from Chris Ortega is either this page or this page. I think that those are again quite similar. Um, you know, we have the belly here. They are in kind of like a dancing uh, move here. Um, this background would be a little bit easier compared to this one, I think. On the other hand, I could just color over it and then do um, the stuff in the background with a shiny watercolor or so to make it easier for myself. We have this flowing folds here, here as well. So yeah, one of those, I think it must be. Yeah, I would just love to add another Chris Ortega page to my finished pages. Actually, I would love to continue to color in the volume two, but I want to get started. Yeah, with her other books too. So this is 
the reason for it and then I really want to get started with RJ Hampson. I have basically a huge RJ Hampson collection um, because it seems that I buy yeah, any book that he brings out, maybe. It might be that one book I didn't get because I thought, oh, maybe I should get started with his uh, work before I buy more and more pages. But um, I finally want to get started with R.J. Hampson. I absolutely love his yeah, drawing style, his um, ideas, the whole layout of the image here. In both pages, actually, we have a dragon. So here a little bit bigger one. Here a small one. It's the year of the dragon, so it would be uh, very appropriate for this year, I think. Um, they are kind of similar, you know. We have here this round circle looking into another world. The same we have here. And um, yeah, I fancy both of those. From this book, though, I, th I could also think to do uh, this page here. This is another one that I really like. Um, this is this, yeah, Destiny is called. It kind, it's kind of like um, Arthur, who's pulling the sword, you know, kind of like Merlin. Merlin, I don't know, but yeah, I think yeah, maybe it will be this one or this one, most probably, but definitely, and that's very important to me to get started with R.J. Hampson. So I think I would get started with R.J. Hampson rather soon than late to make sure that I complete one of his pages. So then I have Selena Fennec and um, yeah, these are the two books that I would love to get started with, Dark Fantasy and Wild Magic and in both books um, yeah, there are pages that I really would love to get started with. Selena is also more, I would say, detailed. Her images are rather detailed with a thin line art, so they would require a little bit more time. And this is the Amazon paper, and I think I don't really like the Amazon paper from um, Selena Fennec, even though let's see where it is printed. Or is it not printed by Amazon? Ah, uh, here. But it's printed in Poland, as usually all the other books as well, so it should be okay. In this book here, also very nice pages in here. I love this one. I absolutely adore this page here. But I thought maybe I would do this portrait here, because, you know, I wanted to color... I was thinking about doing a video about how to color a line art portrait, basically. And, you know, I fancy this image here for years now. So I wanted to color this one for years and so yeah, it would be nice to get finally get started with it. All those beautiful insects and butterflies and moth and um, yeah, all the other creatures here. We c I could use a little bit of my glitter paints, so I think it would be would be a lot of fun. But I also adore this page here. So yeah, it will be either or. It could, of course, also be just another page because, yeah, I'm not decided here completely. But this one, actually, yeah, we'll see. So then, the last uh, either or artist is um, Carla Magania. And she has her Spooklets Volume 1 and her Belle Pipistrelle. I think this is actually kind of like Spooklets number 2, the in official one then maybe, <laughs> I don't know. I tend to maybe go for this booklets one, but I'm not quite sure, I haven't decided on a page here, but I really wanted to try out her art style and just have some fun, consider this easy coloring maybe, for, you know, for in between. The book is also a little bit smaller and yeah, just see how I would tackle her images would be very curious. Maybe I would get inspired by her channel and s because I love the way that uh, Carla colors her own images. They are often very colorful and um, yeah. So one of those it hopefully will be. So now let me clear out my desk. 
And we are moving on to the last stack of books. So we are almost through. And, you know, I wanted to color more in Hannah Lynn, um, her full-size books. And this is Victorian Darlings. Um, I have only one colored page in this book. I can show it just quickly, if you like this one. And it was done in 2019. Since then, I haven't colored in this book here. And so I decided that I would love to add a page to this book here. And it could be this page here, even though I really don't like here this background. But I decided that I will go for some paper collaging. I saw this on some channels. And um, yeah, I thought I would like to try this. Uh, especially if the fire colors likes to do it. And I would just put a pad on paper here for the wool and replace this busy thing here. And then the rest shouldn't be a problem. Or I would like to color this image here. I saw this one colored uh, a few times back then when the book came out, but it's a it's a while. And um, yeah, I love this image. I love to color bricks. And so I think this one would be fun to color. So, Hanalyn, Victorian Darlings, whoopsie. So then we come a little bit to my witches um, stack because, you know, I want to get started with my witches books in September the latest because the season will be over so quickly and I have Hannah Carlson's um, A Witch's Cottage here. Oh, ne let's not look at this one. I messed this one up. But this is one of my favorite books from Hannah Carlson basically because I just love the topic of witches and so I haven't um, decided which page it will be that I will color but I just think that I really want to add another page to this book here and try um, to make it very beautiful <laughs> so that I can forget about my title page which I messed up and yeah so <sighs> Hexenstugger by Hannah Carlson so then I have here my Green Witches by Coco Wayo um, I love the Witches book by Coco Wayo. I love the Witches book by Coco Wayo and I haven't colored in the Green Witches yet. So last year I have started this um, title page here. Or oh, this book belongs to page and just, you know, it's just an alco marker base. And so I would love to just finish this one. It's a small page, should be done rather quickly, but it contains so many beautiful images that I also would love to color. So I just want to have a start in here and then we will see Green Witches by Coco Wayo. The next book is Dark Fantasy by Jade Summer. I bought this book um, this year and yeah, I just love this book. It contains many pages that I would love to color. Uh, this one could be a maybe or maybe the one with the wolves. I think I would love, I would love to tackle if I find it. Yeah, here, this one, for example, this one I would love to do, or the one with the cauldron, I think is another one that I would love to tackle, this one here. So, yeah, would love to get started with Dark Fantasy as one of my new books. And then I have here, um, yeah, Witches by Coco Wayo. This is another one of my favorites, especially my favorite from Coco Wayo. And yeah, I think... I would love to go for this page this year. So, I mean, there are so many other beautiful pages in this book, but I think I might go for this one here. So, now we have, we are almost done, we are almost through. Um, here is Cute Witches by Jade Summer. And I do have a started page in here that I really want to finish. It's this one. I think it would, it would look stunning when it's finished. And uh, yeah, I continued this one last year, and this year I and this year I hope to get finished with this one. So yeah, would love to get this one finished. There are so many stunning pages in this book. It would be my first completed page out of this book, and so yeah, cute witches by Jet Summer. And then the last book that I also would love to tackle is um, Shibi Girls. This is four books in one, Grayscale by Jet Summer, and I I finished a page, um, I think, what is this year basically? Let me have a look. 
yeah, in February, I finished this page here, um, which is actually very nice. And now I really would love to do um, a second page from this book. This very atmospheric, um, she kind of looks like a vampire to me, I think. And then we have the candlelight here. And yeah, the grayscale was fun. It was, I mean, this is very dark grayscale. It's quite different to work on it, but I enjoyed it. And I would love to add another page to this book here. So yeah, these were all the books that I would love to color in in the third quarter of 2024. It is insane how fast this year is running by again. A half year is over already. And um, yeah, when the summertime is over, you know, <laughs> the year is almost over. So, but now let's enjoy summer. So... I hope I will have some nice videos for you to come in the next couple of weeks. But in the summertime, it might be just a little bit fewer than usual. We just don't always have the time, have we? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know about your cutting plans or which of those books um, you would also consider to color in. And I hope I will see you in my next video. Until then, happy coloring to everyone and bye.